Okay, hi everybody. My name is Gideon Ogongo. I am the CIO and co-founder of IT Think Smart Solutions. We're an IT consulting company based off of Midran area in Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, we, we have been providing implementations and training services for Microsoft Dynamics products for over a decade now and our specializations uh, includes and range from CRM, GP, NAV and AX. So I'm pretty excited about the new Microsoft Dynamics AX7. So today I'm going to be showcasing uh, the new user's interface. This is the latest and the greatest from Microsoft. So, um, so over the weekend I set up a demo system using LCS uh, and I deployed it to, to uh, one of our MSD and Azure subscriptions. So um, it'll be my first time completely using the product. So uh, I really want ev I wanted everybody to have the same experience and the same wow effect that I that I will get from using the product for the first time as well. So this product is not an in-depth video on using the Microsoft Dynamic AX, but a showcase of some of the new users' interface. So I will, however, try to explain some of the basic concepts, uh, specifically in the areas of financial management. Uh, this is usually the first module that is implemented in any Microsoft Dynamic AX systems. So, <clears throat> I will spend very little time on the slide as uh, the whole point of the video is to preview the product. So, uh, let's dive right in and take a look at creating a legal entity for our new demo company. So, to create a new legal entity, um, I'm not going to go into the technical details of what a legal entity is, but you can think of it as a database. Since Microsoft Dynamic AX, um, AX7, it's a multi-company and a multi-database uh, system, you have the ability uh, to manage more than one company with the same product. So um, you can have as many products as possible using uh, managed using Microsoft Dynamic AX as well. So the first thing that you will see that is slightly different if you've ever used Microsoft AX before is the navigations. Well, most of the stuff is still where they should be, but you'll find that we don't have the address bar navigations that we used to have in the previous version of AX, like all the AX 20, uh, 2012. We, however, have here on the left-hand side some sort of navigations that allows us to move from one module to another. We also have the favorites. You can create the favorite navigations uh, if you want to, so you have easy and quick accesses to so some of the functionality that you use quite often as well. Uh, any different places that you've visited uh, recently will also show up right here in recent. And then you have in the workspace, you can see some of the familiar stuff and some of the most used stuff that you will find in your workspace as well. However, uh, I wanted everyone to see from the module session how you access some of the functionalities that is required as well. So what we're going to do in this module is that we are going to create a new legal entity. This is where everything that we're going to be doing going forward will be created as well. So currently the legal entity selected is ITT. Uh, this is our, our company database that we've created in AX. However, I'm going to be creating a, leg, a demo legal entity. Um, you can change from one legal entity to another by clicking on uh, the name of the legal entity right there at the top. You can see I can select any of the out-of-the-box legal entity. Uh, I can choose any so easy. You just click on the list and that's it. It automatically refreshes and it changes to the legal entity for that particular company as well. So to create a new legal entity, I'm going to go straight to uh, Mojo. I'm going to click on the organization uh, administration so I know uh, from the previous version of the product this is where you usually do that and we have different areas and different sessions here uh, I'm not sure what that resource uh, life cycle management is but it sounds like you know I can literally um, manage uh, my deployment projects or my deployment platform from here you also have a couple of electronic platform as well as we go on we'll get to see some of the things that this functionality provides us. So we have the place where we can create a number sequence. We have uh, organizations based functionality, global address, uh, resources, and you have the setup area as well. So it's not a lot of things that's really new here. Most of these things are pretty same uh, from the previous version. So to create a new legal entity, you click on the legal entity and then 
Um, on the left hand side, you will have a bunch of all the legal entity that you have in the system. You can do a search. So if I do uh, Contoso, obviously that would filter out all the legal entity that shows on the left as well. If I type ITT here, and you can see that it will automatically filter out um, all the company with that particular company name as well. All right, well, we don't have anything there for IT think. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm, I'm actually gonna create a new legal entity so you can clear out the filter. And on the right hand side, you have the legal entity detail. So any selected legal entity information, you will be able to see, um, you know, all the other related information to the legal entity as well. You can edit an existing legal entity by clicking on the edit button. And if you scroll down on the form to the right, you can see you can supply quite a number of informations regarding the legal entity from bank account information to contact information and address information as well. Uh, but what we really want to do in this module or in this uh, video is to create a new legal entity. So uh, right at the top, I have this two bars right here. And I also have this breadcrumb navigation that tells me where I am. So it literally tells me I'm in the organization administrations, in the organization sessions, and I'm in the legal entity. So I'm going to give a name. Uh, I'm going to call it Demo AX7. And then DM7, that's going to be the uh, three letter codes that represent your company. We're in South Africa. So I'm going to choose the ZA here just to be able to show. Uh, the company region in the description so I can select South Africa and then click on the OK button. Surprisingly, that's how easy it is to create a legal entity in Microsoft Dynamic AX. And to be quite uh, honest with you, I really like it. It's pretty straightforward. And something that is slightly different from um, AX 2012 is the fact that you have to close down your AX client and reopen it again sometimes to be able to select the new company. So what I see here now is the new company that we have created is automatically selected right here at the top, which is great. So um, we don't necessarily have to close down the entire system to be able to use it as well. So um, in the next module, I'm going to show you how to create a new number sequence. So let's go. Thank you. Bye-bye.